All right, what's going on people? Welcome back into another video. My name is Creepers and today I'm here to analyze and give my theories upon a new teaser that has just been released by Paladins on their Twitter. Um, I already recorded this, but unfortunately Audacity had some quality or audio options, losses, something like that. So I have to re-record all of this, unfortunately, but even so. If you're new to the channel, I do this a lot. I analyze theories and lore and so on. This is actually one of the things that I love the most about any game whatsoever. And I'm not just planning on doing this with Paladins, so make sure to ch you know follow the channel if you want to see more of this in the future. But now let's just go straight into it. Now before we start, I just want to say some people may think that the next champion is going to be Tigran, also known as Tiber Siberius, something like that. It doesn't really matter for now because it's not Tigran, it's actually going to be revealed in the next week. It's going to be Realm. Realm, the one that I've described it a few time ago to look like a devil. And you may say, but Creepers, there's nothing in this picture that makes him look like a devil. How do you know that? I do have the personal information that was given to me a few time ago. I have the pictures how these champions look like, but that's not what I'm trying to do here. Thunderbrush, a few time ago, I don't know if he still has it. You guys can also go check that out. He had the profile picture of Twitter as a devil. And he on Discord also said that he, the next champion to come is gonna be his baby. Now I know from, you know, gathering information from Q and A's and so on, that Thunderbrush loves things about like castle, dragons, spikes, demons. He loves all of this part, right? So we would have fit it all together that the next champion would be something like a demon, like a devil or whatever it is. And then he puts that profile picture. He lets us know that this next champion is gonna be his baby. And then we take a look into this picture. What does this picture actually tell you? Let me tell you what it tells me. This guy that you're seeing right now on the picture, before we analyze anything on the table, this is the guy that has appeared two times before. I have mentioned this times very many times, he has appeared on the Fury trailer and on the Atlas trailer. He is the one that releases the darkness by accident, and he is the one that kidnaps Fury's sister and takes her to become the Ceres that we know today. That core on the table is the Ceres core, which I'm not entirely sure how we got a hold of it, but by the look of this picture, because we do have an IO statue on the table, he is like this because he was between the confrontation of IO and everybody else back there where Atlas showed up. So this was when he got stopped, he, had, he, he was stopped from releasing the darkness. IO managed to beat the shit out of him and that's why he's like this right now, right? So how he got the hold of the core of Ceres, I'm not entirely sure, but I do have a theory for that. Let's just continue. On this picture, we also get to see a paper saying Tigran. And then we also see the statue there that does not resemble with any other champion in the game. Who is that? That is Tigran. And you can look into his feet and you'll see that it's some sort of an animal feet, more related to tigers and so on. This is the next champion after the one that we're gonna be, re you know, revealed to, which is Realm. And Realm is the name that was found on a data mine, revealing that most of the abilities of this champion would be related to like souls in demons. So there you have it, why I believe this guy is gonna be looking like a demon, like a devil, and it's not because of the information that I have that other people don't. It's actually basically grabbing everything together, putting it all together in one piece, and actually explain it to you guys. It's a lot easier, it's a lot more sincere, so to speak, and it's a lot uh, more direct in this sort of way. So, in this picture we get to see him basically completely wrecked. This should be the art of a card since it's a PNG and it's square. So it may not even be related to the, the, the title, you know, the, the, the text that is related together with the picture on the tweet that made by Paladins, but uh, you know, it may also re just shows us a little bit of a story, how he got to be what he is today. This is pretty much like the arts of the cards of Dredge, where he, there are some cards that show Dredge on his human form. So this may be Ram in his human form. And if you don't believe me that this guy is the one that did that, just take a look into these two pictures. And the other picture, as you can see, he 
basically has, you know, a better vest. And there's an explanation as well for that. Take a look into his glove. It almost looks the same. His red part after the glove is still the same. And then his belt. His belt looks almost the same. The only thing that it's missing is the three spikes on top that could easily have been broken in battle. And, you know, there's even that little that little coat he has on top that it's also there on the picture but it's on the other side as you can see there being held by that triangle piece that it's also on the table with the ropes it's right there it's the same exact thing this is Rome for many times I've mentioned this guy was gonna be a champion and now we actually sure but he's not gonna be looking like he looks so far he's gonna be looking at something else because why he's going to turn into some dark powers in order to do whatever that he wants to do so how do I know that first of all we got the core of Ceres right there and in case you don't know what this is this is the what he Ceres has in her hand the story of Ceres is basically she got kidnapped was basically used as a sacrifice for the abyss and then the abyssal lord just took her as a vessel now in my idea this core the one that he has on the table is actually where that soul is and he managed to steal it from Ceres maybe during the battle with Io and so on I don't know or maybe and that's the theory that I wanted to give maybe Ceres gave it to him and why? Because the text related to this picture on the same tweet says the following. The tides of war are turning against you. You've nowhere left to turn. First of all, this, this first sentence alone tells me that somehow I think that the magistrate noticed what the hell this guy was doing. And so they turned against him and said, yeah, you're no longer part of the magistrate. Paladins are against him, so he has nowhere to turn. And then it says... There is only one option left to you, should you dare to take it. So this is somebody take, talking to him, right? And telling him, hey, I, you know, I got to hear something for you, but it, you have to want it, you know? And then we see the core of Ceres. So maybe, maybe Ceres, as her lore suggests, she appeared on the place that she feels most fitted to make whatever path needs to happen to happen and gave the court to him maybe Ceres will still remain Ceres but my question is is that piece of of you know of the cloak cloak or whatever that is under the, the core is that the robes of Ceres or the original robes from this guy this military from the magistrate because it looks like me to be part of the clothes of uh, of Ceres but Take a look that the piece that belongs to his coat, his original army coat or whatever it is, is also there. So maybe this is actually not Ceres' cloak, it's actually his, a piece of it. And he just got the, the core and as the text suggests, somebody gave him the core and said, Hey, you want to still succeed in this battle? You have here the core. Take the, ble the blessing of this core, take the power from this core and let's talk. And then he does it and he becomes... Rum, the devil that we're going to know. This is what I think. I may be mistaken. Now, there was also a picture that I don't have it right now here, but it was on, I believe it was Instagram from Paladins. And they were doing some testing with this champion specifically. And they said that they were using apples as basically a temporary art. And you could see a part of a map with apples on the ground. My first thought about that was, what would they actually be? And now with the data mind, where he can collect souls? I'm guessing those apples are supposed to be like little spirit balls and souls. And maybe only he can see them. Or maybe everybody can see them, but only he can collect them. Maybe he can get more HP, get stronger and so on with this. Or maybe that's actually for Tigran. I'm not entirely sure, although it does make a lot more sense for souls being related to a devil. And maybe he will become that devil with the core of Ceres. And maybe we're going to see a part two to the Furia and Ceres lore. That would actually be really good because I've been asking for that for so long. Thank you, Hyrus, actually for doing that. I'm, I'm actually going to be really excited with this champion. Not by the champion itself, but for the lore. For the lore. I wanted to know this lore for a while. And on this picture, again, just a little recap really quick. This guy is the same guy we saw two times before. He has been wrecked, possibly by IO. That's why the statue is in the ground. Maybe he was mad and just slapped the statue into the ground. 
that guy is Tigran. Maybe he's looking for him for some sort of a reason. Maybe he's related to all of this. Maybe some sort of a guardian. And then we have the court that possibly was serious that gave it to him and said, hey, if you want to still succeed now that the magistrate has known your plans and is now against you, you have this here, take it. Use it if you want to. And maybe he's then going to succumb and actually use that power. But that's pretty much it, guys. I know that it's a video that it's a little bit long. Possibly the other ones next one after this one will possibly not be as long. But, uh, you know, I, I can't even make any promises. I like, I like to talk about everything I see, all right? That's pretty much it. If I did miss anything, let me know down in the comments below. If you have a theory, let me know down in the comments below. And if you agree with me, drop a like. Tell me something in the comments as well. Feel free to do that. And if you're new to the channel and you don't want to miss any of these future videos about teasers and so on, you know what to do. Press that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. That'll be it for today. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, guys. With style. Oh, yes.